In this video, we'll look at configuring the settings in Dragon Professional Anywhere to suit your way of working. On the Dragon bar, click the flame icon and then Options. In the General tab, enabling Anchor Speech Focus will lock Dragon's cursor to the current position while the microphone is switched on. This is helpful if you need to click into other applications while dictating. Under Voice Commands, you can choose whether or not you'd like to see a message whenever a command is recognised and where the message appears. You can also enable an audible chime. Under Dictation, enable Optimise for Rapid Navigation if you're an experienced Dragon user and would like Dragon to respond more quickly. This setting is not recommended if you're new to Dragon. Lastly, we can define the delimiters that Dragon uses for text fields. For more information on this feature, watch our auto text tutorial video. Moving on to the Dictation Box tab, you can select from various different transfer methods. Generally, the default setting is fine, but some applications might work better with one of the alternative options. Under General, we recommend enabling the option to keep the text in the clipboard when transferring, just in case the text doesn't transfer as expected. The other settings in this section are self-explanatory and can be set to your preference. Lastly, we can choose for the Dictation Box to use plain text, which means it will match the formatting of the target application, or to allow formatting, which we can select when using the dictation box. In the Hotkeys tab, we can define keyboard shortcuts to control various Dragon functions. The most important is of course turning the microphone on and off, as highlighted here. The Microphone Buttons tab allows us to configure the functions of the buttons when using a supported microphone, like the Philips SpeechMic Premium shown here. Of particular note is the option to choose between press and hold, or on and off, for the microphone button.